What is up everybody, it's Mandart and welcome to another episode of my Mass Effect 2 playthrough. Today we're doing a Tally's loyalty mission, which is a smashing loyalty mission with some lovely acting. Uh, Holy Grail reference there, and so let's just jump right into it. Oh yeah, uh, last time we did, um, I believe it was Jack's loyalty mission, or perhaps it was Samara's before that. I forget which came before which, but if you want to go check that out, check the previous episode. Uh, let's waste no more time, let's go. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm what? scared, Shepard. They're crazy! Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. What are the charges? Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. Yeah, dumb. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. Well, uh... Hmm. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Spoiler alert, I don't think your father's thinking much of anything at this moment right now, Tally. <coughs> so you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. That's interesting, because usually in these kind of situations, uh, in fiction at least, you know, uh, when somebody's convicted of a crime or whatever that's severe enough for, like, exile or whatever, like, their entire house is, uh, like, house, you know, being, like, their family, like, all their descendants, like, share in that punishment. Like, the Koreans are the opposite, which I think is interesting. It's like, oh, if you have children, like, there, they bear no responsibility for your actions, which I, I think is probably, you know, the right thing to do. I mean, obviously, the person's children rarely have any choice in the matter of, as to, you know, what their parents did, so, yeah. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial, or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're a family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. All right, Tyler, we gotta get to this right away. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. 
The Edmund's gonna have to answer to the shepherd. I like this mission a lot. I like the Corians a lot, and I hate the Corians a lot. Requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flag to Cerberus. Verified. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. I'm just going to say, I feel like having a saying as your verification code probably just doesn't feel like a good idea to me. Seems like somebody could easily, like, come across a verification code of that sort, like, just by accident or sort of just, like, in, like, Korean lore or whatever. Like, you know, much rather have, like, a number code or combination of words. Wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. What the fuck's going on here? Never actually reached the rank of captain. Oh. And technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy, responsible for the. It's line. really funny if you bring a uh, legion the to this mission. Among our people. May you stand between your crew and heart as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keep us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. You're an old ship. No, I'm just kidding. What are the charges against Tally, Captain? The charge is treason, and the punishment if she is found guilty is exile. You know me, Captain. You know I never do that. They're charging you with bringing active death into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active death aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. We're going to quickly understand what the true thing going on here. This is, like I said before, uh, during like the Jacob mission and some of like the like anomaly things, this one has the feel of... Uh, a Star Trek episode, if you've ever seen any of the Star Treks, especially like Next Gen or DS9 or whatever. Not so much Voyager, because Voyager was kind of crap, but... You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on the project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no. No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali... You're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Okay. Just all right. Let's see. I can't believe they're charging Tali Zora with such a thing. Yeah, but to explain what I, what I was saying about the uh, how this is like a Star Trek episode, you know, like there's the obvious problem first or whatever, you know, uh, the uh, species sends you out to do something, you investigate, and then you quickly realize that something else is going on, usually involving the higher ups and a political situation. So, yeah. Shepherd Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaron Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I'm afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. I take it being associated with the human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zoravasnima. Whatever we must call you legally. You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. I guess we should get started. Does Tally have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? I don't work... 
for the justice, I just dispense out. Oh, fuck it, whatever. Insert catchphrase here. Tally, I'm not a lawyer. Hell, everyone thinks I'm a part of Cerberus. Do you really think I can help you? They're trying to turn the crowd against me. That's why they changed my status to Vos Normandy. This whole trial is a farce. You underestimate. This is a farce. Do not forget that you have friends as well as enemies. I delayed their attempt to try you in absentia. I convinced them to allow a human into our midst. You still have a chance. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. Damn, did I miss my chance to talk to the admirals already? But whatever. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. The accused Talia Zora of As Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tally crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. Yeah, Chorus. Right as Tally's captain, Shepard must stay. Take that! Objection withdrawn. Shepard vs. Normandy. Your crew member Tally Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for Let's say, that line by Chorus Cor is just... Dumb. Like, I feel like he. Why that objection seemed pointless. Like, if he knew anything about how his his process, like the legal processes, work, then obviously by appointing Shepard, that by he should have known that making Tally a member of my crew obviously meant that Shepard has to represent her. So, Corn's just an idiot. I shouldn't have to. When Tally helped me stop Saren and his Death Army, her actions spoke for themselves. Without her help, none of you would be alive to put her on trial today. Well said, Shepard. None of us should forget Tally's contributions to the fleet. Tally, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? Uh, yeah. How could Tally have brought guests to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, hey Morgan. Tally isn't accused of bringing back entire units. They're Claudia the Black. That could spontaneously yep. reactivate. But I would never send the active guest to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. Hold it! What? 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 Oh, rebel, rebel. What rebel, are rebel. you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kila. I thought Borians valued family. How do you justify springing this on Tally in the middle of a damn trial? Our apologies. Tally should have been informed. Shepherd, we have Even to though we tactically away. did not inform her for a very specific purpose, but whatever. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile, if you are looking for a punch in the face, father, you, it. you intend to retake the Alri from the Geth. This proposal is extremely dangerous. This proposal is acceptable. You think Tally's helping the Geth? Maybe killing a few dozen will prove her loyalty. We do not accuse Tali of aiding the Geth cause. We accuse her of carelessness that endangered the fleet. Then it is decided. Well, then that's not treason. That's... You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. <sighs> will be waiting at the secondary docking I said it already. I love the Koreans, but I really hate the Koreans. hearing will resume upon your return. 
or a fine determination that you have been killed in action. I think I've said this before too, but I think everybody that holds a position of actual authority in this series is an idiot. With the exception of possibly Anderson, and even he has his flaws. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alrai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. Are you alright? How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the Admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Of course. Why would they, you know, give us the resources we need to liberate a ship? Alright, let's see what's going on with these guys. Shepard, Talizora, good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just should think. I'm just a soldier. What are you doing aboard the riot? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Telly Zora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty Board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the LRI. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy. Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's sun? I just shoot okay, things. I hope not. They can screw up a star. Our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the guess. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> I hope you're right, ma'am. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. What does that dark energy build up mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard, I don't know what it means. Just that it has a scientist worry. Hopefully it's isolated. Some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Probably not something to worry about now. But resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. How have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly fast. So say, like, Rigor shed some interesting light on just what, what it would mean for the Quarians to be in an armed conflict against the Reapers. Like, essentially, like, yeah, if you play Mass Effect 3, you can play as Quarians in the uh, 
the multiplayer or whatever, but I mean, those are just like, you know, for special squads, and it makes a lot of sense that only a specialized, you know, commando Corian that has like advanced, art, uh, you know, weaponry and armaments would be sent into an actual like land combat where like the Corians, like we essentially get no infantry from the Corians. We only have access to ships, which is good because they're damn good at making ships and making effective ships. We should get going. Good luck on the holla ride. Stay safe out there. <laughs>